Good evening. My name's Ed Masters and I'm Matt Walker. Now you might remember us from previous Crankworks as racers, but today we are the face of the worldwide wide world of sports and we're going to take you on a journey as to how we became the presenters of this exclusive show. So back in March, we were ready to go racing, just like usual. But uh, a series of events unfolded and that meant that couldn't happen anymore. So uh, things went a little pear-shaped. Now you might be wondering what all this is about, but to get to the end of the story, you've got to start at the start. And this one begins with an unexpected guest called COVID-19. With the threat of a global pandemic, our job as mountain bikers was a bit up in the air. So we went back to the drawing board and we tried our hand at a few new jobs. So it was pretty scary to start with, a bit like stepping into the unknown, but we grabbed the bull by the horns and we ran with it. I tried being an electrician. I started out as a lumberjack. And then I was a builder. I tried being a mechanic. So after a bit of trial and error, we found our feet as educational journalismists. It's our job to inform you, the viewer, about the hottest new race series to hit this summer. The Crankworks Summer Series. Now what is the Crankworks Summer Series? Take it away, Matt. The Crankworks Summer Series is based in, Can in Canada. Where we've got 24 of the best athletes in the world racing across four different bike parks with an all-in format. And what's an all-in format? Well, the 24 BC-based world-class athletes will be duking it out across four different disciplines to crown one champion. So who could be a champion of a series like this? We've got riders like Bass Van Steenbergen, Casey Brown, Miranda Miller, Jesse Malamed, and for the first time ever, slopestyle legend Brett Reader will be lining up against downhill great racer Van Isles. So you might ask what four events these guys are competing in to take the overall. So first up we have downhill. Downhill is fast paced, it's drill and pack, it's the F1 of mountain biking. Racers will be taking themselves hurtling down hills uh, and the key is to get from the top of the hill to the bottom of the hill faster than all your other competitors. Next on the agenda we have Jill Slalom. So Jill Slalom is head to head gated racing on short man made courses, it's really intense. Timing, precision, everything is key and it's also a bit of a head game, um, it's all about staying composed and tactics also come into play. So from the Jill Slalom we have Enduro. Now I think this one's going to be interesting, Enduro is the long form of mountain biking, multiple races during the race and it's going to be super interesting to see riders like Jesse Malamud who's a top 10 EWS guy picked up against Crankworks legend and bike wizard Bass Van Steenbergen and I think uh, I think people are going to be very surprised. And rounding out this quartet of mountain bike events we've got the EDH. So with the EDH it's generally held on bike parks, flow tracks, jump tracks where the riders keep it as low as possible over the obstacles just to you know put down the fastest time possible from top to bottom. It takes a lot of skill, a lot of bike handling and um, the fastest rider normally comes out on top. Well, since this is our first episode and we're not too good at it yet, um, we're not sure how to end this episode actually. So, for a special surprise for our viewers, we're going to leave you with a stunt. From the team at Worldwide Wide World of Sports, I'm Ed Masters and I'm Matt Walker. Good night. Good night.